Hey everybody. So this video, again, just like the last one we did with, from the Neon Belly. If you guys have a punching bag, a pillow, a big pillow, ideally something um, based on, you know, if you're a younger kid, I mean a regular pillow may work, but ideally a couch cushion pillow may work or a punching bag. What we're gonna do on this particular one is kind of show you some mount drills we can do, how to get to mount from side control. These are actually things we can do at home, which will pay big dividends when we get back to rolling. So I'm going to start in the side control position. My arm is under the neck. My hand is blocking the hip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this left arm over to the other side. Ideally, if I can get it underneath my opponent's shoulder, that's even better. That's what we're going to pretend we're going to do. Now, as I bring this over, I'm going to turn my hip. So my belly's facing this way. But when I do that, make sure you get your hips back a little bit because if I just do this and I don't really put any pressure on my opponent, he can start turning into me, pushing me back, maybe hip escaping away. But if I drive my hips back, it puts a lot of pressure on him so he's not really able to turn his head. And two, it gives me more space to get my legs over. Now we're gonna pretend my opponent's legs are not blocking the mount. He's, he's just got him there, he's being lazy. Anyone who's fairly experienced is going to be weary because once I get this arm over the shoulder and I'm here, I could go for the Kimura if he's not careful, right? So if his legs are just not blocking the mount, step over. And notice when I step over, I step over, one, two, I keep my chest tight. So when I turn, all my weight is going to fall right on him and I can go right into the grapevine into the combat position or knees tight and push up into a combat position. Then I back step, same position. Two. Back step. Three. Ten times. So again, I'm in side control, arm over, under the shoulder, turn my hips, push them back. His legs are down, so I'm gonna take a big step over. As I turn in, my weight's down. Combat position, 10 times. And to get into a flow, I back step as I bring this arm back. And then I just go right back, right into it. Number two, he might be blocking the mount like this. His knees are in, he's kind of blocking that mount, so I may not be able to step over. Same thing, we've already gotten to this position. Instead of me stepping over like this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually grab my foot right here on the shin, not on the ankle where I can break it, on the shin. I can go like this, or I can even go like this. Whatever way you want, and then I'm gonna push it over. Same thing, circle, pinch my knees together, combat position. It's very important when you're drilling this that when I bring it in, either here, over the belly button, boom, I circle with all my weight down. Two, and then back step, three, back step, four, back step, five, back step, Six, back step, and so on and so on. 10 times. Then guys, we switch to the other side. Nothing changes. I'm here, I bring this over, I turn my hips, I scoop back, and it's the same thing. If his legs aren't there, I step over, spin around, boom and then come back. Step over, come back. Back step, right back into it. Then if he's blocking the mount, I bring this in tight, I feed it across, or I bring it this way, I feed it across, circle around with my weight, and notice when I go back, guys. I just, see that motion? Boom. Or 
Boom. Ten times. And this will be a really good way on working on how to get to mount from side control using that technique. And, it, and it's, it's a great technique to use because of the Komora opportunity. Now, the other way we can work this is from side control. I act like I'm gonna go with knee on belly, but what I'm gonna do is a knee slice. So I'm gonna push this hip down so he can't turn into me, and I drive my shin right up the stomach. It's not knee on belly, it's a shin splice. So I'm sliding my shin in, and I drop my shin to the mat, and then as this circles over, boom, right in the mount. Then look what I do with my left hand. I come back, grab this part like I'm grabbing the neck, and I step right back in to the knee slice. I drop the knee down, circle out, right in the mount. Two, and I come down. I'm not like this. I'm being kind of sneaky. Push down here, I just slide it up while my weight is still down. I drop the knee and I come around. Get the knee up, drive the knee down, windshield wiper the leg, right in the mount. Right back in, drive the knee down, windshield wiper, right back in. Mix that up five times on this side, then you just go to the left side, or and it's the same thing. Slide that knee in, so you get that chin right on the belly, stay low, I'm pushing the hip down, drive the knee in, windshield wiper, right in the mount. Come right back, down my weight, drive the knee down, windshield wiper, and out. Work that 10 times on each side, guys. And trust me, when we get back to rolling, this is a very, very effective way when you're in side control. Pushing that hip down, slide that shin in. I can even attack from here with the shin down, or if I can still put a little pressure and then just drop the knee, windshield wiper, come around. So right there, guys, you have three different ways from side control that you can work at home on getting to mount. Just make sure you keep that weight down. Imagine there's someone underneath. We don't wanna take that weight off. We wanna to try to keep that weight compressed down as long and as heavy as we can. So work this, guys. Hope you like it. We'll talk to everybody soon.